Are you working on writing a proposal and you feel like it's just taking you forever to do it? I can understand the frustration when I first started writing proposals. I felt like I had no idea what I was doing. However, by the time I got to my doctoral candidacy proposal, I was actually able to write the entire thing within two days. And so today I really want to tell you a little bit about that story and then tell you how I was successful in being able to do that and what the three factors were that allowed me to be able to write my proposal so quickly so that it can help you write your proposals more quickly. If you don't know me, I am Dr. Elena Reister. I got my PhD in chemistry and now I make videos on this channel to help people like you be more successful in your research. When I was going through my doctoral program, our final candidacy exam was called an original proposal oral. And what it was is basically we had to write a research proposal that was actually outside of our area of expertise. So I know a lot of candidacy exams, you're actually writing pr research proposals that you're actually going to do and then, you know, write your dissertation on and it's more a dissertation proposal. Um, but ours actually had to be outside of our area of expertise. And so I did the initial research for my proposal, created a plan, and then the actual writing portion of my research proposal only took me about two days, and that wasn't full writing for the two days. Um, it probably took me at max eight hours altogether to write my research proposal. So there were several factors that influenced me to be able to write my research proposal so quickly. And those are the factors I want to share with you today so that you can hopefully write your research proposals more quickly. The very first factor is that there are actually stages to writing a research proposal. And what's going to make writing your research proposal easier and your ultimate product better is by focusing your effort and making sure you complete other stages first. And so a lot of people will still be coming up with their research plan as they're writing their research proposal introduction. This usually drags out the process of completing the entire proposal, but especially writing your research proposal. And so instead, you want to focus on four main phases of completing a research proposal. The first phase is coming up with your idea and your research question. If you are struggling with coming up with your idea, check out my 30 day research jumpstart guide. It's really going to help you develop research ideas worth researching and publishing um, and that link will be down below. And so in your idea phase, you want to make sure that you have a really good idea and have a really solid research question that then you can develop a plan based on. If you are looking for research questions, check out my video above all about the six main factors for creating a really great research question. But in this phase, you want to make sure that you have something that is significant and worth being researched. Once you have your idea, you then want to move into your plan phase. In your research plan, you want to make sure that you have mapped out your experiments that you're doing, the statistics you need, all of those things for your research plan. This will usually be divided up between your aims and if you want to know more about creating really good aims and just writing a research proposal all together, you can check out this video above here on how to write a successful research proposal. But you want your aims to essentially include the experiments that you're going to perform, the results you're expecting to get, and then also what you're going to do if you don't get those results. And so this is often known as potential pitfalls and alternative approaches. And so once you have your plan completely put in place, now you can move into outlining your research proposal. And so this research proposal outline is really what's going to help you to write your research proposal so much faster. This really should only take about 30 minutes of your time once you have your idea and your plan in place. And you're going to go through your introduction and map out what you need to include. And if you want more information on how to write your research proposal introductions, check out this video above as well. And so in your introduction, you want to include your significance, background knowledge, and what you're doing in your proposal. You then want to include how you're going to write out your research plan. And so a good way to do things is to have an overview section and then to have your individual aims. And then finally, you want to address the impact of your research in kind of a conclusion and summary at the end of your research proposal. 
Once you have your outline together, then you want to start writing your proposal. Because you've done all this pre-work, sitting down and writing your proposal can generally happen a lot quicker because you're not focused so much on trying to still flesh out your idea and create your plan while you're trying to write your proposal. Overall, I think that going from no idea to having an idea all the way to writing took me probably about two to three weeks. Again, this isn't full time working on it, um, but just being able to move from those into actually writing my proposal probably took me about two to three weeks in altogether. The second major factor that helped me to write my proposal rather quickly and in only two days was that I focused on what the reader needed to know. And so if you listen to me talk about writing, especially research writing, the biggest thing is that we often overshare information to try and show that we know what we're talking about. And this takes up time on our end and on the reader's end and generally results in a lower quality proposal. So instead, you want to, whenever you're in your outlining stage and your writing stage, stage you really want to focus on what the reader needs to know to understand your proposal and to be able to answer the questions of if it's novel, feasible, and significant enough to fund. Every single sentence within your proposal should lead the reader to answering one of those questions or multiple of them. If it's not, then it really should not be in your research proposal. And so you want to make sure every sentence has its place within your research proposal in order to be able to write a really successful research proposal. And this is actually going to help you write it much quicker than just writing everything that you know about something to try and get all the knowledge and to make your research proposal longer. The third factor that helped me was recognizing that a research proposal is actually a story. It's a story of what you plan to do in the future. And when you think about writing it as a story, it actually becomes a lot easier to write. You're not focused on hitting so many check marks and thinking about your sentence structure and things like that. Instead, you're telling a story. And that's one of the best ways to even sell something is to really tell a story with it. And so you want to make sure that whenever from your introduction, you're telling the story of why you care about your field, what's been done in your field that led you to this grand idea that really deserves to be researched. And then you're going to go into your research plan and talk about how this research is going to be carried out, how they link together. And so you're telling the story of the problem that has occurred and how you're going to solve that problem and then why solving that problem is so important. And if you think about it as telling that story, it, it really can start writing itself once you have an outline together and you're focused on telling that story to the reader and what that reader needs to know. If you're struggling on any of the steps of how to write your research proposal or create your ideas, Make sure that you get my 30 day research jumpstart guide. It's going to take you from not knowing your field to collecting publishable data in 30 days. And that link will be below. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one.